We did a video yesterday on how to trade trend. Let's look at this, uh, uh, how to trade flat markets. If you log in, if you're trading gold this morning, I want you to watch this setup. We have a long here. We've had, the first thing you do is you look at uh, the trend of the market. Either, either it's going vertical or it's going sideways. And if you're going sideways, that means you're in a range or chop market. If we look at this magenta MA, that's what I want you to look at, the magenta MA. That's, main, that's the most important one for trend. Is it angled up, down, or sideways? It is sideways curve across the board. Look how sideways it is. It's flat. It's horizontal. If it's horizontal like this, you want to sell the highs on the first and second test. HVA caught the high there. HVA caught the high here. And LVA is catching the low here. All right. So what you want to do is trade the first and second test of HVA and LVA. What you do not want to trade, you do not want to trade the control point, the blue level. That is the most volume that's traded in that instrument that you're trading. You only trade the control point in trend markets. If it's trending up, you look for a break, retest, long, like crude this morning. Crude had a trade at 5 o'clock this morning. It was a break out of control point, retest control for continuation. But if it's flat like this, if we're flat as a pancake across the board, what you want to do is you want to avoid the middle. Just don't even look at the middle. Eliminate this. Let me just black it out. And you want to buy the low, sell the high. And the target you want to go for is coast to coast. It's called a coast to coast trade. LVA to HVA. HVA to LVA. HVA is the red, high value area. Low LVA is the green. So you can see we had a nice little, if we look over here, we've had a nice little move in a flat market. And there is your positive market delta. Positive market delta, there's your entry. Here is your entry off that one right there. Your sell signal was up here. Here's your sell signal. It went coast to coast. So there was your sell. Red market delta, enter at the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. There's your stop. Then it goes coast to coast all the way down to LVA. And then you enter off market delta on the first test. That's true order flow. Your stop loss is two ticks below the swing low. And then you go for the first set of symmetry dots in each one and try to get coast to coast. Now, here's the next trade we're going to go for this morning. The next setup we're going to look for on gold because it's setting up really pretty here for a breakout in the morning. So once we get into a range market, you sell the high by the low. Sell the high by the low. What happened with crude is either well, Monday or Tuesday, it was we had this trading set up just like this. Sell the high by the low. It hit HVA twice, low value area twice. We don't trade the control in flat markets. But then what happened in crude, and I'm looking for it to happen in gold this morning, you want to break through high value area, retest, and then look for a breakout and go to either side or let it break down, let it retest, simple ABC pattern. So that's how you trade range markets. Range markets, you want to sell the high, buy the low, and you never want to trade the middle, never trade the control point. After it's tested once, twice at the high value, or twice at low value, then you're going to look for a break retest. Now we've been in a we've been in a downtrend. If I connect these highs, gold's been in a downtrend, right? So if I connect the highs and look at what we're doing here, we've been in a sustainable downtrend. Right there. So that tells me a couple things. If I break the low value area, we're probably continuing lower. Or even if I break high value, I don't have much upside. If I break high value for this breakout, I've only got a target of 1280 this morning. So I got about 77 long with a 1280 target. That is the trend line. Because look how my trend line's hitting once, twice, three times. So actually you connect two and you can get this future trend line as a as a short. This was actually my market profile yesterday. It hit right on it for the high. But if you notice, if we get up to my long-term profile, 1280, 
that should be it. All right, so we're going to try to take this coast to coast this morning, meaning LVA back to HVA. If it does break through HVA and retest, my target is only 80 because that's my trend line and that's also my low value area. We had a similar trade on crude. I projected Friday to hit Monday for over 100 ticks. So look for that to be major resistance and a target this morning. Let's say it breaks back down below low value area. If it does break down below low value area, I want to break through it. I want to retest it. And then we continue our overall downtrend in the market. And we should see some lower lows because this is a double bottom. We're looking at a double bottom down here. Here's a double bottom. So if I get through 1274 today, right, because this is actually a, a larger descending triangle. Let me show you this setup. Gold could really get ugly if we break 1274 today. Let me show you why. This is called a descending triangle on a, on a broader picture of the last couple of days. I got two flat bottoms. I got lower highs. So what I want to do, if I break 74, the run on this thing could be quite dramatic. If I take this 74 all the way to 92, there's a lot of room for a big sell-off in gold. So I want you to pay attention next week also. We, we set a trade like this up on Friday last week for crude. I said if we hit the trend line in crude Monday or Tuesday, look for a big sizable setup. We actually hit the trend line twice, and it was a huge, huge move. 200 tick trades over 100 tick trades. I'm looking for a similar setup in gold. That's why I'm paying attention to gold this morning. I'm looking for a descending breakdown. If I break through 74, that's a descending triangle, which is very bearish. 74, 74, 84, 94, almost 20 ticks. You're looking about uh, almost 18 points that it could really sell off. It's a really big setup on a big picture. So intraday after break 74, I'm looking for a break retest, and this thing should just get cracked pretty good. Um, so that's what we'll look for this morning. If it, wants to, if it wants to recover some of its gains, it's going to have to, from its losses, I'm sorry, from earlier in the week, it's got to get through 77 retests, but my target's only 80 on the trade. So you got about $300 upside, not much from there. So take it coast to coast. But look for the break. Watch this double bottom down here. If we get through 74, 73 and a half, 74 today or early next week, I got a breakdown of a descending triangle that's a broader descending triangle. If you guys want to look at it over the weekend, just take the take the take the high the lower highs, take the double bottom. Once you break the double bottom, that's a beautiful descending triangle, which is very bearish. Now what's going to break the trend of a descending triangle? This could happen earlier next week also. I want you to pay attention. You can have a big if it busts through 80 and I retest 80, then descending triangles off the board, then this thing should crack all the way to highs. We should come all the way up to 98 then. So that's an 80 trade to 98. I got 18 points on the upside, 18 points on the downside. It's pretty neat because either side, uh, we, we, could, we could really see a lot of big push in the market next week in gold. So just a beautiful setup. I, I recognized it uh, earlier this morning. Want to make sure you're aware of it. It's a big descending triangle break. So we have to be aware of these big inflection points on it. 73 and a half, huge inflection point. And then also we got the 80 would be a fusion inflection point uh, for a continuation south. If it breaks out retest, I think the, the shorts will crack and uh, you'll see this thing retest highs. Uh, we got 18 points on either side of the market. Okay.